Hey everyone, this is Brad with Bearded Pineapple Glass. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on just clear spoons for the people who are coming to the Best Monday Ever event at Cali Culture and uh, Alliance Ohio on March 5th. It's going to be a blast. You should all come. But first, I wanted to show you. We're going to have these set up for you guys and ready, but we'll have points already ready to go so that you can just get into the flame and go. But what we're going to do is we're going to heat up about three quarters of this thing in a big flame. Then you're going to stretch it so you get a nice neck. And it's going to end up looking like this. Well, without that, then you're going to reduce that down and blow out a bubble and that's going to be your mouthpiece. And we're going to connect to that end. And blow out the bubble on this end and that's going to be your uh your main part your bowl i'll show you let's get to it so first things first we're going to heat up three quarters of this thing and stretch it what's up everybody So what we're working on now is the middle of the piece. I like to do the middle first because it gives it a nice even end on both ends. Once you pull the middle, it's nice and easy to get your uh, mouthpiece. And then once you connect to your mouthpiece, you can do a nice e uh, even bowl on the other end. So what we're going to do is heat up three quarters of this thing. Make sure that your punny's warm so that it sticks to it. And once this thing gets all floppy and hard to handle, that's when we're going to stretch it. And we're getting close. Now I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to start pulling. Nice and slow. Let those walls get nice and even. Yeah, it's nice and even. It's still pretty bendy right now, so I'm letting it solidify and harden up. Once you get that part, you're going to go ahead and cut that punny back off. And now, we're going to uh, make that ball, roll that ball here, like gather it up into like a bubble. And that's be the mouthpiece. Now it's starting to gather down and make a we got a big uh, handle on this and make a, a, a ball. You want to stay just to the tip of it, so just the ends warm when you're getting ready to blow it out. And when you're getting ready to blow it out, you want to let it solidify and cool off just a little bit. Then you're going to very gently blow through it. Almost like you just using pressure in your mouth, you're not really blowing at all, you're just kind of pressurizing. A little at, the, at a time, and when we're doing these clears, you're going to be able to see the wall thickness, so that's a good thing, it's a lot easier to do. So now, once you got that bowl, you're going to pop a hole in the end. I like to just pull a little bit out. It helps take away the thickness and the and it gives you a point to, to heat up and blow through. So now we got like a little point going on there. So that's the part I'm going to heat up. Just the, just the tip. Once you get just that tip heated up, you're going to pop the hole. 
cold, but you got to do it in the flame. If you do it outside of the flame, you'll create bubble trash, which is extremely dangerous. Now we popped a little hole in it. We're going to spread that open with a reamer. Get that big enough that you can connect it with a, a blow tube. I don't know if you guys can see that. But now you're going to connect another handle, blow tube, on the other end. You heat them both up to the same temperature. I like to switch them back and forth while I'm heating them up. Always spinning, never stop spinning. If your hands stop spinning, your piece will turn into a loppy piece of fish tank ornament. So then you push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, and that'll make it nice and even. You'll see when you get to it. But at the end, you're kind of just pulling away from each other because that helps straighten it out. So you got a nice straight piece now. And then you're going to cut this end off. I like to flash it in and out because if you just put it right in there, it's going to crack. I stay away from the piece a little bit and then work my way back to it. Now you just rip it off, do a little twisty action there. And now you got this little thing on the end that you need to clean up a little. So you take your pony. Just take some of that extra glass off. Now, go to the big frame. Now we're going to do the same thing we did on the other end, just bigger, because this is going to be your ball head. And again, I'm just, just the tip of it, and I want it to work its way down. But I'm going to raise my elbow and drop it to keep it, you try to keep it as even as possible. When, when you're doing it, you'll see what I mean. Again, I never stop spinning. I like to shake it a little bit, get that, uh, that jerky movement some good with glass. Sometimes I spin the opposite direction just to keep it even. Now you see it's kind of like flattened out a little. I'm going to blow it out. Little at a time. Again, I'm just keeping the tip. The rest of it will get will warm itself up. Real light pressure in there because thin, the uh, clear is thin glass, so it doesn't take much to blow that bubble. It's starting to get bigger and more even. I keep putting it back in the flame to recondense it down. It's going to help even out your walls. You blow it out thin, you condense it back down thick, and you keep doing that until it gets more and more even. It's a little thick on the end, but for a quick uh, video here, I'll, I'll be alright with it. I might make this one a suicide card so I can take that thickness off. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Actually, we're just going to stick to the regular card. So, now that that's cool 
cooled off and it's time to stiff it up, I'm going to get a nice hot flame and I'm going to pop a hole. If you're looking over it, if you got a spot that sticks up a little bit than others, you find where you would like your bowl hole to be. You get that nice and red, just that one spot. Then again, you want to blow it out in the flame. If that bowl hole pops outside of the flame, you're going to blow trash, which is bad, man. If you breathe that, it, it can ultimately kill you. So now, I'm just heating around that hole. I'm going to try not to touch the hole. Just have a nice hot flame all around the outside of that hole. And that hole's going to shrink itself up. starting to shrink down. Always going around the hole and switching hands because gravity does the work for you. Blow through it to cool it off a little. Push it. Then I like to grab my uh, reamer and make sure that hole is nice and centered. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to see. But now I got a bowl. Now I'm going to heat just the side of it because then we're going to put the curve in. Get that? What's the car? Carburetor. The curve is your airflow ventilator. It's currently called a carburetor. Curve for sure. But you don't know what a curve is. I'm not sure you should make a pipe. Now, I got a nice good sized hole in there. Uh, you can leave it just like that, but I like to uh, put an extension on those. Some glass blowers don't like to do that. They say it thins out. I don't know if you should do it for your first one because they are a little bit difficult to uh, keep thick. But if you do it right, they're not thin. I just think they look good and they're comfortable in the hand. So I put a dot of uh, glass on there. You can do clear, you can do color. I did color. Now you're going to melt that all in like a little marble. And when it looks nice and even to where you can't get your finger underneath of it, that's when you're going to start blowing through it. Again, I'm moving around in circles. Get a nice pointy flame. You're going to plug your hole. And you both are real soft, but you plug your bowl hole so that you can, all your air goes out the curb. Then you got self curb. And I did mine out of amber. Now I like to put a couple dots on it for a couple reasons. For one, it's nice in the hand, gives you something to hold on to. Uh, for two, it adds some weight to it. So if you were to drop this piece, hopefully it lands where your marbles are. And it gives it a little bounce. Because your thickest part is going to be down here. You don't really want it to land on, no, even on the ground because then your neck might snap. And three, they just look fucking cool. Now, take one marble. I'll melt that in there a little better. Alright. And yeah, when you do marbles, like, the, like I said with the curve, you want to melt in the uh, little ball or dot to where it looks like you can't get a thumbnail or a fingernail under it. So all the edge is gone. You move it around in circles again. So you're getting all the edges from every angle. And then, just so it doesn't collapse, I'll blow through the piece pretty hard.
got the shapes, man. <laughs> so this is our last one. I'll put this third dot on here. And then next, I like to put a flat on them. Some people like to put really big flats. I try to keep mine small. I don't want you to see the flat, but I want it to be there so your piece doesn't roll off the table and all your tobacco flies out of it. So now we got three dots, a card, and a bowl. So now I'm just going to heat the bottom with a nice small flame. And after this part, I usually put it back in the kiln because we've been working on this end for a while and this end's cooling off. If you jump right to that end, it's probably going to crack, but we're going to do it anyway. So now it's a nice little flat on it. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll keep it from, uh, and I just do that on my marble. Right? You guys didn't get to see that, but. I'll just set it on the marble and push down. Now you're gonna grab your grabbers. That's why they call grabbers. Because you grab them. You gotta heat all your tools up. Never heat up your brass tools. Never put brass in the flame. Once this warmed up, you're gonna put it on your piece. Tighten them up. Now you got them in your tools. We're gonna hit the flame way back here so that if it were to crack, it doesn't crack the mouthpiece. And now I'm working my way back to it because I've already heated it up a little and I know it's not gonna crack. But see, I left a big chunk on the end for safety. I didn't want it to crack. Now I, I like to use a really oxygenated small flame. Tear off some of that. Now I like to just pick mine open, but I'm going to show you guys the trick. You heat up just the tip. And then you're going to pull a little point on it. I don't know if you can see it, but I just pulled a little point on it because now let me break off my piece. Now I got this little point. I'm gonna make a ball with my funny. It doesn't have to be a big ball, but something like that. And I'm gonna smash it onto the end of that point. So it looks like that. And once that cools off, I should be able to snap it right off and there'll be a hole there. Hopefully. Oh. Now, you just want to get rid of your uh, thing. I like to open it up pretty wide because I'm going to shrink it back down. So you got a nice thick mouth hole. You don't want it to be thin because it'll break if it drops. But I let it shrink itself down, now you got a mouth hole. And that is how we make a simple spoon. It's one of the harder things that we're going to be uh, doing on. Uh, March 5th, Cali Culture, best Monday ever. Don't miss it. Woo! All right, we'll be back. I don't know how to shut you off, so we might just stay here. <laughs>